scale factor. Today, we're going to focus on 1 through 11. I will give you an example from each one of these worksheets that I have listed here on the video. Good morning, guys. Today, we're going to focus on scale factor. So we're going to look at scale factor today, okay? I know I like to repeat myself because repetition is the fault of learning. Uh -huh. Now, it says, what is the new scale factor if reduced by a half? So if my dimensions are 10, 18, 6, and 6, this is called a trapezoid. So if I reduce each dimension by a half, basically all you're doing, if it says reduce, you're dividing. If it says increase, you're multiplying. If it says decrease, divide. Okay, reduce, divide. If it's increasing, twice the number, triple the number, you're multiplying, okay? So all I have to do is find the half answer for all of these dimensions. So 10 is now what? Half of 10 is five inches, six is three inches, three inches, and half of 18 is nine inches. Those are my new dimensions. They didn't ask you for the perimeter. If they would have asked you for the perimeter, you would have added up all the sides. They didn't ask you for the area. They didn't ask you for any of those things. All they wanted you to do was find the scale factor if you reduce it, okay? My next question, if you turn to the second part of that presentation, a, a square area of 256 feet square is increased twice. What are the new sides? So basically, if they give you the area, you know, the opposite, if you have a square, the opposite of a square is a square root. So basically you have to find a square root of 256. Okay. So the square root of 256. The square root of 256 is 16 feet. So that is my new dimensions on my square. However, it says is inc increased twice. What are the new sides? Sides in the square is 16 feet and it is increased twice. That means I'm multiplying by two. Anytime I say increase, triple, you're multiplying. So times two. You guys already know the answer. 16 times two is 32. My new dimensions are 32 feet. My new dimensions on my trapezoid is reduced by a half, so I just had to divide by a half. And that's how I make this worksheet. And see you guys later.